Hello and welcome back. We are on day 28 of our duck hatching calendar and normally today would actually be the day that we start to look for hatching and pipping and all that fun stuff. But if you've been following along, we've been watching that for a few days now. So let me show you where we're at. So our first duck that hatched was Mr. Pikachu who hatched on June 8th. And there's Pikachu in his little cage. And Pikachu is actually um, out of the incubator now. We moved him into his new home. But he still comes back to cheer on his brothers and sisters as they continue to hatch. Ducker was our next little duck that hatched. There he is in the incubator. And he hatched on June 9th. Look at him so tired over there. I don't really know if they're boys or girls, but we call some hims and some hers just based on their name. And Pikachu was there to cheer him on. And this is Ducker this morning, a little bit drier than we saw him yesterday. There he is all fluffed up and sleeping. And last night we had Flipper hatch pretty late last night. There's Flipper all out of his egg. So tired. And also this morning underneath Flipper, Flipper is laying on Flappy who is almost fully hatched there. We didn't get to see him push out of his egg because Flipper was on top of him, but there's Flappy all out of his egg. That's, he's still got his butt stuck in the egg there, but he just hatched this morning too. And then right after Flappy hatched, Pom Pom really started making a go at it. So this one, of course, I've sped it up so you don't have to sit through the whole thing, but here is Pom Pom hatching out of her egg and the lovely Mr. Ducker and um, I think Flappy loved to get in the way of pom-poms hatch they were very excited to have a new duck join them but let's watch pom-pom hatch and I'll show you what she looks like now Ever. Look at them. So this box will be their home. It's just a big cardboard box that's lined with a garbage bag and a tarp. Ducks love their water and so this will protect our box from all their splashes. But we need to get it ready for our ducks to live in. So these ones are from our chickens, the last of our chicken wood chips. Mix those around. But I bought a giant bag. Ready for this? Can you see that? Of these wood chips for our duckies. So I'm gonna put some of these in the bottom. So we just want like a little layer in the bottom so they've got something to absorb all their pee and poo. And also kind of a nice cushy spot to hang out on. So we'll just put 
enough to cover the bottom. We don't want to go crazy with the wood chips because we're going to be changing these so much too. Every time they get dirty, we got to throw them out and put new ones in. So I just kind of want enough to cover the bottom. So I'm going to see if that's enough. I'm gonna get our heater and we're gonna put it in there and try to just kind of warm up it up a little bit so this is our heater here and it kind of just gives off heat here when I plug it in and so they'll kind of hang out underneath it it's also I guess a little bit like a like a den for them right a nice little safe place and then this all plugs into the wall and it won't make a sound And you don't even hear it, but we can tell it's on. Can you see the red light in the video? I guess a little bit, yeah. Right here is a little red light, so we can tell it's on. And so if you were here, you could put your hand under it, and it gets warm. It doesn't get hot enough to burn you at all. And then we gotta put in there a little food and water. Okay. So I have these little silver trays. And we got them because we can put um, the food and water over over the trays and then everything will just fall into the trays is what would be perfect. Um, because they're ducks and you know what ducks do in water? They make a big old mess in water. So, if I put those little silver trays down, then the hope is that when they're splashing around and making a huge mess in their water, it's not gonna get all over the wood chips. There we go. So this is their water container. So I'll fill this up with water, and then it goes on here, and you probably can't see it, but there is a little notch right here that the water comes out of. And so they will drink from the lip of this. And then this one's for their food. It's just like at the bottom of a pot. And so I'll just fill this up with their food. But there is their cage. And then we can move Pikachu into that cage in a little bit. There we go. So I wanted to give you guys a little update of what they look like at this moment. This one here is Ducker, but <laughs> the other three in here are just in a huge pile. So that one whose head we see right there is Flipper. But then there's a yellow guy here. Oh, there's two yellow heads here. So this one here is one, and then there's another one here. But who is who? So I think... This guy here is our Flappy, and then this one that's a lot wetter is Pom Pom. So there they all are right now, and then let me show you Pikachu. So there's our duckies. So we have one egg that still has yet to hatch, Pinky. Um, we haven't seen a pip or anything on her yet, and that can happen. We might not have it hatch at all. But because today is also the expected hatch date, we might just see something for the first time today. So we will be pulling out the other four ducks that are in the incubator later today. And I will take a video of that and put it in tomorrow's video. Um, and we'll be putting those four ducks in the box with Pikachu. And then we'll just keep an eye on Pinky until Friday. And then if nothing happens with Pinky, then we know she was never gonna hatch. Um, Otherwise, we'll give her that couple days chance to give it a try. So there you go, guys. There is our update for today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll check in with you again tomorrow.